Hello everybody, I am so excited to do this art project with you. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own Halloween themed treasure map. Before we get started, I want to mention that the name of this channel is Rainbow Parrot Art. And I have so many super fun art tutorials and art lessons on this channel, so be sure to stick around and check them out. When I do a project like this, I like to start by drawing a tiny thumbnail sketch of what I want my picture to look like. This is a really fun time to brainstorm the different elements of my picture and the way I want my layout to look. Once I'm done with that, I sketch out my drawing onto a full size piece of paper. Then I trace over it so that I can walk you through each part of my drawing step by step. So now I'm gonna walk you through this step by step. I'm going to add a wavy coastline here. I thought it would be fun to draw a vampire hotel called Dracula Inn. So that's what I'm drawing here. I'm just drawing the outline of the house because I'm going to color it in solid black to make it look extra creepy. Now I'm drawing Dracula standing next to the house and I'm making a sign next to the house that says Dracula Inn. For an added decoration, I'm adding some jack-o'-lantern balloons that are attached to the side of the house. Just south of Dracula Inn, I'm drawing a zombie crossing. This is where the zombies hang out. Feel free to pause or rewind this video at any time if you want more time to look at the drawings. Now I'm going to attempt to create an aerial view of a corn maze. You can do this by drawing a simple maze that includes a couple dead ends and a start and a finish. Once you have drawn your maze, draw a bushy line around it. These are the corn stalks growing around the maze. I'm adding a sign in front that says corn maze. To make it look a bit more like a corn maze, I'm drawing a couple corn stalks in front. I'm drawing a cute little ghost flying into the maze and then another ghost flying out of the maze. Over here on the left, I'm adding a witch's bazaar. This is a place where witches can gather and sell their magical goods. I'm designing a large cauldron that will have some kind of potion in it. Then right here, I'm adding a witch holding a broomstick standing watch over the potion. I'm drawing another witch right here. She'll be in charge of the potion booth that's directly behind her. If you design a potion booth, and you should, think about what kinds of potions you might sell. It's really fun to come up with these. I'm adding a banner with flags overhead to make it look a bit more decorative. Down here in front of the Witch's Bazaar, I'm drawing a spooky black cat with an arching back. Right here on the bottom left corner is where the trail for my treasure map will begin. So I'm drawing a jack-o'-lantern with a speech bubble that says, start here. Because candy is such an important part of Halloween, I thought I'd name this part of my map the Candy Coast and I'm gonna draw a bunch of candy along the coastline. I've got a lollipop, some Skittles, a candy apple, and some gumdrops, and a Smartie, a Halloween candy cane, and a lifesaver floating in the water. Feel free to come up with whatever types of candy you want if you decide to do this, it's super fun. Now I'm adding a sea serpent in the water. I'm drawing it in three sections, the head, the middle of the body, and the tail sticking out of the water. I'm giving it some spikes. I'm adding some tiny waves in the water around it. I'm labeling this area by writing Candy Coast. Just north of the Candy Coast, I'm drawing a sign that says Pet Cemetery. Right above this, I'm drawing some tombstones. Right here, there's gonna be some kind of creepy hand reaching up out of the ground. Now I'm drawing a hill with a couple more tombstones on it and a creepy old tree with curling branches. 
Now one more hill over here with a few more grave markers on it. And a couple more trees over here on the right. I'm going back to my Dracula Inn and adding a couple of bats flying around the roof. Watch carefully here to see how I draw a bat. Next, I'm traveling further up north to draw a creepy spider cave. I'm drawing a couple eyeballs right at the opening of the cave and a spider on the side of the cave. I thought it would be fun to put a monster disco dance right in the middle of my map. I'm starting with a disco ball and a sign. Now I'm adding a jack-o'-lantern, a ghost, and some kind of monster. I'm putting a dancing skeleton next to the monster. In front of the monster, I'm adding a werewolf. It basically looks like a furry human with a big wolf head. Over here on the left, I'm drawing a dancing Frankenstein with his arms waving in the air. Right behind Frankenstein, I'm adding a toilet paper mummy. And then above the mummy, I'm gonna put another ghost. Right in front of my dance party, I'm drawing a spooky skeleton swamp. I start with a long oval shape for the swamp water and then draw some skulls and bones sticking out of the water. I'm adding a sign here that says skeleton swamp. And I'm putting a sign in front of that that says keep out. I'm drawing some bubbles bubbling up from my swamp water to make it look extra creepy. Now I'm traveling back up north to add another water feature, a pond. I start with a wavy oval shape, then I'm drawing a witch's hat right in the middle of the pond because I'm gonna call this Witch Hat Pond. I'm drawing a big toad on the right and I'm adding some bubbles bubbling up to the surface of the water. Here in the far background, I'm drawing a road and then adding some houses along it so that there will be a place to go trick-or-treating. I'm going to call it Trick or Treat Lane. I'm adding a couple of ghosts that are trick-or-treating. Now I'm drawing a candy corn forest. So instead of trees, there's going to be a forest of candy corns. Behind my forest, I'm adding a wavy range of mountains that I'm going to call the Forbidden Mountains. And then I'm drawing some thunder and lightning. I don't have any goblins in my picture yet, and I definitely want some goblins. So I'm adding a goblin gazebo right here. I'm drawing a simple tent shape for the gazebo, and I'm adding a couple goofy goblins inside my gazebo. There's a little space between my gazebo and my monster disco, so I'm gonna add a couple of trees here. Right above the goblin gazebo, I'm adding a dark, ominous cobweb castle. I'm drawing a few rectangles squished together, then adding triangle-shaped rooftop spires and drawing a few windows. I'm putting a crooked old gate on either side of my castle. And then I'm drawing a large full moon rising up from behind. And some more thunder and lightning. I've got space here to draw one more creepy crooked old tree. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw that here. I see there's a bit of space in front of my goblin gazebo. So I'm adding a couple of jack-o'-lanterns. This is meant to be a treasure map, so I'm drawing an X to mark the spot where the treasure is. Now I'm going to create a route that leads to the treasure. I'm going to start at my jack-o'-lantern in the bottom left-hand corner. I don't want to make a direct path to the treasure. That would be too easy. I want the treasure hunter to have to travel all over the place 
to find it. So I'm making these little dash marks that travel through my corn maze and then weave all around the picture, right next to the zombies and through the pet cemetery. In front of the spider cave, behind Witch Hat Pond, through the candy corn forest, past the monster disco, in front of the cobweb castle, and around the goblin gazebo to get to the treasure. Now that I'm done drawing my map, I'm ready to add color. You can use markers, crayons, or colored pencils to color in your map. I'm using mostly markers. I'm coloring the leaves on my trees yellow and orange to show that it's autumn. I'm using different shades of orange and yellow to color in my jack-o'-lantern pumpkin balloons. I'm coloring the outside of my corn maze green. See how I've made my Dracula in all black with orange windows? I love that. I like to use yellow and orange to color in windows because it makes it look like lights are on inside the house. I'm using light blue to color in the water. I'm using a light green to color in the land area. I'm adding a pink and purple sunset to the sky. I'm using Halloween colors to color in the flags for my witch's bazaar. And you can see that I'm using an ultra fine Sharpie to relabel the different parts of my map so I can see them better. I am now adding some cobwebs and spider webs to my cobweb castle. Notice how I'm using an ultra fine Sharpie to outline different parts of my map. This is a great way to make the images in your map really pop out. You might also try using a black colored pencil for this. It works really well. Look at what a difference it makes when I outline these houses. It really makes them pop out. Anyway, I hope you love how your Halloween treasure map turns out. I can't wait to see it. Please be sure to stick around, check out my channel, check out all the other amazing art tutorials I have available here. Be sure to subscribe and leave a comment below and let me know how you liked today's video.